Hey, Scott. It's me, Oliver. Happy to see you took the night job. I know it's one of the more, uh, interesting jobs over there. But I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Now, boss told me to call you to make sure you know what's going on and everything. I'm sorry we couldn't give you more proper training, but we've been really busy over here and don't have any extra time. So this is the best we can do. So, as you know, we have the old Fazbear animatronics stored over there in the facility. We were going to use them for the new location, but they were just too old. And, you know, what happened over there was, uh, tragic. So we decided against that last minute. We designed for brand new, more polished and kid-friendly animatronics to use here. But we have to keep the old ones as we plan to use them for extra parts. So, to make sure that they stay in good condition, they're still active. That's why you're here. They're going to be walking around, and we can't let their servos lock up. Now with that, it's state law that any security guard that has to deal with live, free-roam animatronic characters has to have a way to keep them out of the office. This was made back when a night guard sued Fred Bears for a close call that could have hurt him. So, to comply with that law, we have the two sliding doors to your left and right. If you see someone outside the door, just close it and their system should restart and we'll go back to where they came from. Now, I wish it was that easy for you, but unfortunately, it's not. A friend of mine was working there the week before you and he reported some odd behavior. The bunny, he acts normal. He might walk to your left door, and if you see him there, just close the door. Now, Chica, the yellow chicken, she's sneaky. She'll wait on camera five and sneak up on the door. If you see Chica on camera five, just close the right door. She'll try to sneak up on the door and hold it open. And if you see her in your office, it's too late. All right? All right. So remember to check camera five, close the doors if you see anyone, and you'll be all right. Great, that's it for tonight. Good night.
Hey, Scott. See, that wasn't so hard, right? Now, I didn't get to everything last night, specifically about Foxy. He's in camera 10. He'll just sit there and slowly, uh, wake up, I guess you could call it. Now, the only way to keep him asleep is to play the lullaby on camera 10. It, for whatever reason, calms him down. So remember to play the lullaby from time to time, all right? Sweet. I'm sure you already noticed, but on the cam system, there are four fence buttons. Pressing one will close a corresponding fence around the facility. You can use this to stop a character in their tracks. Now, the fences run on the backup power system, and you can only have one closed at a time. And even then, they'll automatically open back up after a few seconds. So, while it's not a permanent solution, it can buy you some time if you need it. Now over here, things are still going according to plan. The new versions of the animatronics should be coming in tomorrow, I think. It's going to take a few days to set them up and make sure they're working properly. We're also going to be reusing one of the older characters, from Fredbear's, actually. It's not really an animatronic, it's more of a puppet-type thing. We plan on going over and visiting the storage location tomorrow to get it and move it into the new location. We know Fred Bears has a pretty bad reputation, but when that, uh, incident happened, the puppet character was still brand new and not really associated with the company yet. 
So it should be fine to use. It'll keep the young kids entertained. All right, so remember to check the doors, check camera five, and play Foxy's lullaby. Okay, good night, Scott.